Hello guys, welcome back to Trader Life Simulator, to where today is today the day that we can buy some stock, $50,000 worth of stock. I am down to just around 30000 but as you can see, I got a lot of money in the bank to pay off my employees for quite a while, and of course I got some money in the credit card as well. A slight problem that could happen is this, I've been told that the farm is up to its old tricks, meaning you have to collect the cash every day. We're about to find out because I haven't been up there in like four days time or not. So hopefully when I go up there, we're going to find out pretty darn soon. I'm just checking on some things in here. I don't know what I'm really looking for. Honestly, I should be out here, out here checking to see what I'm low on. There are a couple things that I'm low on, but not too bad. Over here, we're doing okay. Actually, I need some more animal treats. Do I have animal treats here? I do not. Um, but overall there, we're doing pretty darn good. Frozen food section. Oh, yes. Uh, that's that's doing much better. We can stack those. Um, not too bad there. Yogurt. Oh, uh, cupcakes. I need some cupcakes. We're low on cupcakes. And everything else we're doing okay. Uh, sausage links. I could use some of those. Large cooking oil. Do I have large cooking oil here? I do not. Not out here. Do I have large cooking oil in here cooking oil small cooking oil small i uh, do not see large cooking oil so okay we got to take care of that and everything over here is doing relatively well in the canned goods tomatoes and olives i know about the olives because i've been trying to buy those recently but the price has been high 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 um someone did want me to try with the cake fridge so i'm going to go ahead and do this we're going to go ahead and grab one of these I mean, it should work. Uh, put some meat in there. Does that work? Yes, it does. So you can put meat inside the cake fridge. It's a fridge. Uh, I think that's all that really matters. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this back into here. I have not been upstairs in a few in a while either. Let's go to the cash register and uh, eighteen thousand nine hundred and some odd dollars. So, oh, yeah, we should be able to buy stock. Um, have not sold the refrigerator. I don't think I've sold the microwave either. I have sold all the monitors. I still got the TV, uh, the PlayStation. I'm calling them PlayStations. They have not sold. The Xbox have not sold. I have not sold any tablets, nor a desktop. Keyboards seem to go pretty well. I've sold like half my printers and, you know, not much else. Um, but that is a good start. Uh, almost up to 50 grand. I do have three pizzas ready to go. And here, yeah, I really haven't done anything with the fruits and vegetables stand I have out here. A wider table is all I'm asking for, just so I can have a row for one of each. And meanwhile, I'll keep stocking the watermelons in here. So, I got a rough idea of what I need at the store, but before we go to the store... Actually, you know what? Let, before... Oh boy, I really want to buy the stock, but I'd rather go ahead and get the sausages first, if they're on sale. I'm just going over here to the meat market to see if they got sausages for sale, and that's it. I'm not going to look for anything else. Just because we're getting low on sausages, and yeah, I want to double check on that. Breaks, breaks, breaks. By the way, I have double checked uh, in between episodes. Someone did ask if I get the map out. So our house is here. Uh, I tried cutting it across to get to the furniture store, and uh, there's an invisible wall in there. I can't get there. Uh, so, but I mean, you can try that. I'm saying there's a gap somewhere. Sausage price is too high. Yeah, it's $42 over, uh, what I would like to, per can, can you give me a deal on sausages sometime soon, dude? Thanks. Let's jump back into our pickup truck. Actually, before I go anywhere, can we, can we jump out? How, how's this doing? Gas, oil, yes, yeah, we're fine. We're fine in today's episode anyways. Jump back in the car. All right, let's go to the farm. So this is, I've been told. Um, that the farm is back to its old tricks, meaning you have to go to the farm every day to collect. It does not stack. So if we go there today and do not get more than the, uh, five, is it 5,000, 45, 4,500 to $5,000. If we only get 4,500 to $5,000, whatever it is, um, then it, yeah, it's just one per day. If we go there and we get somewhere near 20 grand, then it is stacking. We'll find out here soon enough. And in case you missed it, our farm is fully stocked. We, we're full of sheep, chickens, and cattle. Uh, moo cows. We are we are all set. We cannot buy. We got 50 of each. So the moment of truth, and yeah, if, if this is true, then I've left money on the table. Or this guy right here is stealing it from me. Alright, uh, what do we have here? No, 19,000 some odd dollars. It's still stacking, so 
Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what your problem is saying that the money's not stacking at the farm. It is for me. Um, better make sure your game is updated to pat, what are we at, patch 2.3? I think so. So anyways, we're saving up the cash and we got it. So I did not show up on the other one. Uh, the other market was uh, $7,000 for stock. But I thought it was going to be one of those things where you can keep buying stock and the more you buy, the more you bring in. Uh, yeah, this building, it, 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 they need the money because the roof is leaking terrible. Uh, is it is it this dude here? Buy financial stock in exporting company 50k. All right, so that's going to earn us, I would say, from like 900 to 1100 dollars per day, depending on the stock market. Uh, the good news is, if it's like the other stock market, you're not going to lose cash. It's always going to bring income in. Uh, the part of it is, it's going to take 50 days in game time before you get your money back on it, but then then after that it's just like extra money coming in so and plus you know we got the money so you know let's let's you know let's put the money in there and see what happens well we know what's going to happen uh, unless they change it listen to all those cows uh, moving at the farm uh they're happy i came and got that cash i'm happy that we got the full cash now we're going to start saving up some cash to buy some more vehicles and i might even do it this episode actually because we got a lot of cash but you know me i'm probably actually going to go to the electronics store after here and yeah we'll buy a whole bunch of electronics and put those into the store uh the other vehicles we're just gonna buy for funsies um i the, the box car i really don't have a preference i mean i may actually buy well i'm not gonna say i may actually buy it what i mean to say is i'll buy it i may actually like it better than this truck here okay so tomato paste is one thing i know i need yeah we're getting low on that so well i remember the game when I, when we first started as a supermarket peanuts produce I'd buy like one box and go, okay, that'll last me for a while. Then I started doing decently on cash, and then I started buying an extra box. Now when I come here, I buy three boxes a piece <laughs> and just stick it in the storage room. All right, so tomato paste was one thing. Uh, see, now everything just flooded on my head. But if I look here in the store, olives, yep. Um, it's a good price, but actually it's the average price. So we're not really saving anything on the olives, right? It was like... Yeah, it's 35, 35, so... But you know what? It's green. Green is good. I mean, I could wait, but I mean, olives, I've been waiting forever, it seems like, for the price to drop. Alright, uh, over here, is there anything I need here? Quickly looking. I don't think so. Double check here. So, these right here? Yep. Hey, $3 below the average price. Let's stick that into the pickup truck. I'm actually thinking about trying something else today as well. Where was I? Oh, I was buying this stuff. Um, so, yeah, we got the dolly slash cart back at our shop. I think I'm actually going to bring that to the the burger hut. Burger, what's, whatever the burger place is. Where I buy my pizzas at that we eat. Uh, I think I'm going to bring that in there and see if I can stack a whole bunch of pizzas on there. And put that into our lovely little warehouse. Cupcakes. Oh, everything is on sale today. Everything is on sale. Well, at least everything's on sale that we need. So we'll buy three of those. Well, I, I am really glad that the farm had the cash that we deserve. I mean, the money should stack. I don't see why it shouldn't stack. I, I know when the, when the game first came out, the, the money wasn't stacking. Uh, I think we're pretty much... I mean, I'm low on a couple of other things. Large cooking oil. Thanks for reminding me, guys. Your guys are great. Ah, the price is too high. Uh, we're low on it, but we're not out of it. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. So I think we are all set here for the most part. Let's get the heck out of here. Like one goose to the other. To the other. Let's get the flock out of here. So we're going to get the flock out of here. Let's head back to our store. Uncrate these boxes. Um, do I want to stack anything? Uh, probably not. I'll probably do that off camera or if I got time later today. Because like I said, I may want to try out a few things. Actually, you know what? Is the taxi... I forgot. Is the taxi cab in the game? Because if I want to buy a vehicle, I want this pickup truck to stay at the shop. Uh, so I can go get some stuff. And we'll take the taxi cab to the car store. Because I want to drive one of my vehicles to the car store. Because then I got to drive... Yeah, it's it's one of those, you know... I can only drive one car at a time. Then it's terrible. Plus, I haven't tried the taxi cab system yet. And since I'm I'm a rich guy now... We'll have to try it.
I know one thing, the brakes on these vehicles, <laughs> we're not going that fast and have to take that long before we stop. I think I will load up some cupcakes into the freezer because I only got two in there. So let's go ahead and pop that down and rotate. And we'll stick that in there, kind of cheesing it a little. It's kind of clipping to the back of the of the cooler, but we're fine. And no, I have not. I said I was going to get another shelf and try to place it in here to see if I liked it. But I was actually too busy um, just restocking the store. Yeah, there's not... You don't really get any days off in Trader Life Simulator. Um, if your store is doing rather well, you're always going back and forth uh, every day buying stuff and keeping your store stocked well enough. Even on days where I don't buy stuff, I'm just in here taking stuff out of storage and uh, stocking up my shelves. Can you fit in there nicely? There we go. That's fine. Uh, animal treat. Animal treats. Can I have those? Thank you. Uh, we'll put this over here. Did someone use the bathroom and not shut my door? Yep. Oh, wait. What the heck is that doing? Um, all right, can I, wait, where's the door? Add to inventory. Why is that doing that? Hmm? Can you tell me that game? The game does not know why. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this back on here, hopefully. Okay, now, now it's fine. It's fine now. Uh, let me go ahead and save the game. Just because. Never know. But we've done, we done enough things like uh, spend $50,000. So I want to make sure that's all set and ready to go. Yep, I just keep piling boxes everywhere. Because my storage room is kind of a mess. And I don't mind having extra stuff out on the floor. Although, it's getting a little ridiculous in here once again. Let's go ahead and place that down. Uh, animal treats go over to here. Got plenty of animal treats, but as I start stocking the shelves, uh, I empty the boxes pretty quick. Olives, top shelf, we're getting a little bit low on those, so let me go ahead and put those down just because I don't want to run out. I don't want my customers to get disappointed to come to the store that they can always depend on me having everything for them and not have some olives out there. Because, you know, someone may want... Uh, you know, a martini. Stack those nicely. So yeah, we, you saw the cake fridge. Um, it's a fridge, so I don't think it classifies as cakes only. So anything that needs to be, needs to be refrigerated, you can go ahead and put in there. I got a lot of stuff in there that does not need to be refrigerated. Well, I say a lot of stuff. The donuts, the, um, the baguettes, and the brick bread is in there, which it does not need to be. There is actually furniture at the furniture store for bread shelving, but uh, oh yeah, can can you can you get up? Haha, <laughs> cheese that. All right, uh, olives. Yep, we'll put just put you over here. We'll get to you later. Same thing for these olives. Uh, cupcakes. I can probably get all these in there. So I haven't heard anything about any updates coming uh, anytime soon for Trader Life. I know we talked about they were thinking about adding a third floor. And at this time, I don't think they need a third floor at the current rate until they start adding more stuff to the game. I know some people have said they'd like to see some other upgrades come to the game, like more optim optimization. Is that, the, is that the word I'm looking for? So like I know some people, I actually like the colors of these coolers, but I know a lot of people, well, I don't want to say a lot of people, uh, some people made comments that they don't they would like to be able to change colors of the coolers the colors of the shelving um the colors of like the sign out front someone said they would like to be able to name your own store you can do that um as you can see i got my name there and maybe i should show in case you don't know uh for that one person but you got to come to your you got to come to your laptop and do it so it says change supermarket name you can do it right there um that's where you do it at let's go ahead and save the game because uh you never know um, I think we're all set. Do I want to go to the electronics store and see what they got on sale there? Can I grab the cart? Where's the cart? Let's 
grab the cart. Can I... Can, can you put this, like, in the back of the pickup truck? Is that a thing? It does not look like you can. So that's kind of frustrating. I guess, um... Well, we're going to take a jaunt. I mean, the burger store is not that far up the street. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a lot of pizza. I want to put it on the cart and bring it back to the supermarket. But you got to make sure um, that you put it back in the storage room. Anything in the storage room will not sell. So if you just put these like in the store on the floor, these will resell these pizzas up here. So if you just want to, I mean, these are for us. These are for munchy munchy times. I'm not even sure if the pizzas will actually even go on the cart. Um, let's see if they do. Uh, yep, give me a pizza there and... Does this actually work? Well, it kind of placed there. Now if I grab this... Uh, it does move around. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and buy some pizzas. Can I stack them? Oh, you can. All right, so the question of the day is how many pizzas can you stack on the dolly? Now, I don't want to go super crazy here, but you know what? I mean, I like this guy in here. He seems like a nice guy, but I, I, I don't need... No, let go of the car. No. Gosh darn it. All right, and then that button there, and then... I mean, I got this dolly slash cart. What do they call it here? They could do call it a dolly. Okay. Um... I don't use it for anything. I know some people like to use it to bring the stuff into the store. Uh, I don't, I know, it's not my thing, but uh, to each his own. And... Because, I mean, I got the money. I got the money, honey. We can spend it. Alright, can I go... How, how tall can we go here on the dolly? And grab another pizza. I will say this though, these are expensive pizzas for 65 bucks. Uh, okay, we'll buy one more because I want to see. Alright, so now if I. Yeah, I'm hungry now. Uh, yep, so you can stack them four high at least. At least. Uh, you are hungry, can't run. Well, this just seemed to be kind of convenient that we're in the store. All right, we'll munch on that one. And... And we'll buy another one. How about that? And there we go. I don't... That's... I mean, that should last me a while. All right, grab the cart. I should have picked a better day to be walking up and down the street, but... Because it's raining, that's all I'm saying. I guess it's a good thing that the burger joint is only down the street, so I can use my dolly, come get some pizzas. We'll put this into the storage room. It sh they should not sell in there. I never really tried it myself, I've been told. And I think I saw it on a update to the game that things in the storage room will not sell. If I were to leave these in the store, they probably would. I still got some pizzas in the back of the pickup truck, and I'm going to leave those there for now. But these right here, uh... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and put it right there. All right. Um, yeah, we can we can go to the electronics store. Let's go ahead and do that. Wow, this day has already flown by. We, it's already, uh, it's already 8 o'clock in the evening. Had to pause and think about that for a second. So we'll take a trip on up to... Yeah, don't park on that sidewalk. I have flipped a car a few times there. Okay, what do we got? You know, I don't, I'm don't. i running out of monitors and TVs. And I'm not buying any today because they're all at a high price. I mean, that's $700 over, $26 over, and that's uh, like uh, $66 over. I'm not really... I don't have any laptops. And it's a good price. So we'll buy some of those. And we'll put them out in the rain because, you know, they're fine. It's only electronic equipment. Um, phones. I have not sold any calculators. I'm not really selling those. But I will buy them if it's a really good price. But right now it's a decent price but not good. 
these I'm just not selling. I don't know why. Uh, the only thing over here is TVs. Let's not do TVs. Uh, refrigerators are actually a decent price, but I got too many of those. I got microwaves. Uh, I'm not saving much on the coffee makers, toasters. The oven is a high price, so I'm not buying anything here except for laptops. And you know what? Yeah. Yep. Why not? We'll buy two boxes. Alright, let's jump into the car. Uh, turn around. So, is there invisible wall in here? Can we drive through the woods here? Okay, is that just a tree or... No, there's an invisible wall there too now. Uh, can I back out of here? I mean, that is kind of a dangerous thing to be doing in a video game that you never tried before. Because I could have fallen through the map or something like that. Because they probably think, who's going to drive through there? Um, yeah, you're, you're listening to them right now. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Uh, just because. Alright, uh, let's get on out. I said get on out. I'll take one box upstairs now. We'll uncrate these. That way, when the store opens in the morning, at least I'll have some on the shelf for people to buy. And where do I want to put these? You know, I actually sold a printer today. Ooh, wow. Interesting. Uh, we'll put them over here. I do need to, and we'll probably maybe do next episode to start, since now we got a whole bunch of cash coming in. Uh, maybe I'll start getting more shelving up here and get it more done because I can start spending a lot of money on electronics. The one thing I was kind of with, I forgot what patch it was. I don't remember if it was 2.2 or now 2.3. Originally, they had it to where your store rating had to be 75% before you could buy electronics. They dropped it to 50% before you could uh, buy electronics. 50% seems kind of low, but it's easy for me to say that because I got the cash, I got everything in the store. It's easy for me to stay up near 100%. Um, let's go ahead and save the game in case something weird happens in the taxi. Is it? I don't know. Is the taxi a thing? I forgot now. Because uh, I probably did it in a patch update. I'm almost out of watermelon. So I come in here, $25 for a taxi. Um, car shop. Uh, two, two, to you two. Uh, and here we are. So I can drive, I can reset, I can open door. Is that the back door that we're opening? Yes, it is. Okay, so I can open the door, close the door. Uh, where's the sports car? I guess I gotta go up and talk to him to see how much a sports car is. I don't remember this spot being open over here. Was this always like this? I don't know. Uh, let's come talk to this dodgy character. Um, so there's a truck, there's a scooter, and there's a sports car. The sports car is 45000 which we do not have. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the truck, which is 4500 which I do have. But honestly... Oh, I can buy the scooter. I mean, I can buy the scooter in the truck. We're going to buy the scooter. Because, <laughs> because, you know, reasons. Hang on a second. Uh, nope, wrong button. Let's go ahead and disable the HUD. Because you probably already, you know, you may have seen the thumbnail. Unfortunately, it's raining, but you know what? It just, uh, look at it in all its glory. There we go. All right, there's our screenshot. Enable the HUD. Uh, no, don't quit, quit the game. Oh, need some lights here. Oh, wow. Um, well, it is midnight, isn't it? Uh, I cannot see a darn thing. I mean, I know it's bad for you guys for sure, but I definitely can't see anything. Get me out to a straightaway, can you please, so I can at least see where the heck I'm going? Uh, what am I going to do with the scooter? Does anyone know what I can do? Well, we can ride it around. I don't know what good it is. We may... It is bouncing up and down, though. That's not me jumping up and down the screen. That I'm not even touching... I'm just hitting the W key to drive forward, and it's bouncing up and down. It must be a bouncy road. For sure. Uh, yep, yeah, brakes like always. 
Whoa, that thing turns on a dime. Alright, so what, how can we do for speed here? And there we have it. Uh, yeah, it gets a little bit out of control. I have no idea where I am right now. <laughs> I see the burger place, that's all I know. Alright, I'm going to go park this down at the store. Maybe we'll have to give it a go next time during the daytime so you can see. Uh, you want to turn? Yeah, it's not the best thing for driving. Uh, best $500 I've ever spent. But uh, there, there's your scooter. So I probably will actually save up a little bit and I cannot go over the curb. All right. Um, I'll probably save up first, and I think buying the sports car might be next. I don't know. I'm putting out the box truck, box truck, just because. Um, no reason. I just don't see the need for it. I, I would like to maybe bring the scooter to see how many boxes can I stack boxes on it. Could be kind of interesting. But anywho, let's come into the laptop once again just to see. Uh, so we made four thousand one hundred sixty dollars today. So that's pretty good because I did not sell a refrigerator. Wait, uh, let me go back upstairs. I don't think I sold a refrigerator or a microwave. Did I? No, I did not. The monitors were gone. I still got the TV. I still got five PlayStations, one Xbox. I still got my seven tablets. So I either sold, was I can't remember if it was one or two printers that I sold. And whatever it is that we sold down here. Not too bad. Oh, oh wait, did I get the money in the stock market? Um, so that'd be like a thousand dollars in the stock. Yeah, exporting company one thousand seventy-five dollars. So yeah, that's so three thousand dollars is normally what I would have gotten. We bought the exporting company stock today, so that's what we got. And the trading company brought in one hundred fifty-two dollars. So that's the one. The trading company is seven thousand to buy stock in, and you get like a hundred and forty to one hundred and sixty dollars per day. Exporting company, I'm going to say nine hundred to eleven hundred dollars per day it seems like somewhere in that area so yeah we'll take a lot of time to get your money back on that but after that then it's you know a thousand dollars per day not too bad uh, we have all the shop upgrades uh now we bought all the money in stock so the only thing to do left is buy the box truck which i had the money for um i could do that or start saving up enough to go ahead and buy the sports car uh, what am I going to do with a sports car? I have no idea. But I'm more interested in the sports car than I am the box truck, believe it or not. Uh, well, maybe you do believe it. But anyways, um, yeah, I think we're all set. And I need a, I need a deal on some some sausage links. That's for darn sure. And i got to spend a little time just restocking the store up uh, next in-game day. So anyways, that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Trader Life Simulator. Excuse me for a second. Uh, but until then, have a good one.